How's it going guys? Hope you've been well. On this episode of Weekend Orlander, we are going on a short, quick trip as we often do. It's raining out. Forecast, it's not looking good. It's rainy, 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 rainy. Rainy tonight, rainy all day tomorrow. Anyway, we were gonna not go, but Ashley really wanted to go. Still, kind of. And it'd be good, because I haven't used this tent yet in the rain, and I am kind of testing it out, so we'll see how it does in the rain. I have a new awning that I haven't actually used in the rain. I've used it in the sun. So, it'll just be a good test of gear. So we're gonna go out, and since it is gonna be raining, I don't know how much we'll film, but we'll try, try our best. All right, enjoy the ride. We're gonna be dealing with some rain. We may be dealing with some snow. Because we're coming up on that spot, we can't. All right, so we found a spot. There's a little bit of a break in the rain. And it's getting dark, so we just found this. So I'm gonna to open this up. All right, it's getting dark. Done basically what I can for rain. So I have this awning, tents out, and then back here I put up a little tarp, which is kind of like right at head level, unfortunately. Let's hook to my bars, and then I have these little kind of bungee guys, just to some trees. And so that's kind of the setup. Not awesome, rain-proofed mess. But it's good enough for a tray to not get rained on here. Can I shake? So this spot isn't amazing, but we wanted to, I have the ISO turned way up. It's a lot darker than it looks on screen. But here we are. Okay, probably cook some dinner. All right, I've made this pretty sick improvement. Pop the top on our rear tarp. I'll link to all this stuff down below too, if you're wondering about whatever, because it's nice to know what gear. But this is a custom setup here. This is like an awning pole. Uh, so it's like a three piece thing. Comes with two of them. And then I put a custom uh, crock. I use the right foot. It's really important to use the right foot. 
just so I don't punch a hole through this tarp. And then now the water won't pool up there. Pool. It won't pool up there. And we'll be good. What are we eating tonight? Wieners. Are we? Mm-hmm. You got the bed set up? Yep. We got a trash bag over here. It's underneath the tent, so it'll stay dry. It's just hooked on to this little diamond back tie down. Here's my Bluetooth speaker slash lantern. It's on the lowest setting right now. And we're cooking up some weens over here. Some brats on that guy. What do we got here? Ashley's drinking a cider of some sort. Snow capped cider. I have a little Olight flashlight with the magnet just stuck here and it stays there actually. So, this is my light for in the bed. A little cooler. <coughs> then, underneath, I got the camping bin, a little food bin, got a chair here, and we're covered. It's raining a little bit. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's not raining too heavy right now. So this awning, I like it because there's no legs. So it's freestanding and if it's not too windy, you don't even need to use any guy lines or anything. But here we have lights on both of these. But this is a South American company and maybe it's more common, but the power source is alligator clips. I wish it was like a USB. I bought on Amazon alligator clip to USB and I'm gonna try and plug that in, but I forgot to bring it on this trip. So we'll try it later. Hey bud. You don't like being in the car. But it's too rainy out for you right now. Okay. The nice thing is the diamond back in the rain. All this stuff inside stays nice and dry. Ashley decided she's gonna put some cheese <laughs> from one of these beef and cheddar sticks <laughs> on our hot dogs. <laughs> you feel like that's a good idea? What, you can't even look at me? <laughs> you can't even look at me. <laughs> I told her they're all gonna fall off and they are. They're falling right off. <laughs> Cheese works. The cheese works. Good morning. Been up for a bit. It rained super heavy last night. Um, we weren't out under the awning, but the awning held up. Did have some water that pooled. Pooled right up under here. Uh, the tent did great though. So this for those that might not know, is a prototype uh, eye camper hard shell tent. Uh, so I'm kind of testing it. So like I think I said earlier, we didn't really want to come out in the rain all that much, but Ashley definitely did want to camp. And I did want to test some gear. So that held up to really, I mean, it was kind of at times torrential downpour. This little makeshift awning I did back here had quite a bit of water pooled up here that when I dumped off kind of made this stream. But anyways, it's a nice day right now, but it's pretty gray skies all around. So I'm gonna try and do some cooking before it gets too bad. So what we're gonna do here is 
We use this to run the heated blanket, which you guys know Ashley and I like to use once in a while. But Ashley wanted to bring this kettle pot to heat up water with. This is what we just use at home. Uses a lot of energy though. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this as more than like a novelty, unless you have plenty of reserves. So this is the Kodiak. They have the new one, which is the Apex, which is actually still, it's a upgrade over this and is on pre-sale. And I have a coupon code if you want to pick one up. Uh, they did send this to me for testing and gave me a code, but this is the old model. They have a new model that's even better. Anyway, I don't know if you can see it here. It looks like we got a little more than 50% juice, so we should have plenty to run this. This is sriracha that Ashley just put into a Ziploc bag and then we cut the corner. So, we're gonna have a little packet so you don't wanna bring a whole bottle. That's another method. So normally when there's not like an impending rainstorm coming, I'll leave the tent open, all the windows open to let it air out in there because there's a lot of built up condensation from sleeping and exhaling all through the night. So if everything else is dry, I want to dry out the inside of the tent so that way I can just pack it up, put it away, not think of it again till next trip. But since my tent is already wet on the outside from all the rain and I'm not going to get that to dry, I'm going to have to unfold this when I get home anyway so it doesn't get like mildewy. So I'm not as concerned about letting it all dry out before packing it up. Uh, but I am probably going to pack it up while it's wet because it's way easier to pack up camp when it's not raining. So we're gonna do that. Pick up the trash. Don't leave cigarette butts like a disgusting human being. Or else I gotta pick it up. And it's gross. Also, seriously, don't do this. Don't ever do this. Then you make gun guys look like trash. Don't do that. Okay, we're all packed up. Ashley is making us do the rest of the trail. I kind of just wanted to camp, head home, get some stuff done. We've done this trail in one direction, going that way. I came in going the opposite direction, which is fine. It's a either way, but most people do it in the uh, counterclockwise direction, and I am going to do it in a clockwise direction. I've never done it in clockwise direction. I think it's actually easier, but we'll just do it because we're part of the way uh, going clockwise already. Just because there were some camping spots on this part of the trail that I have never camped at and I wanted to check out. So we're in one of them. It's not a great spot. It's okay though. It's nice to get out. And it was just kind of rainy. It's nice that it's not rainy now and actually pretty nice weather for now. But down here, 
is kind of a meadowy view, but you can't see all that much of it. Still a nice day. I was too lazy to get out and air down in the rain last night. So I don't really feel like airing down now. I don't need to air down. The trail's not that tough, but it just smooths out the ride. But we'll just go bumpy. And guess what Ashley's eating? She's eating her pickles. <laughs> All right, let's go. Little transformer chairs are front runner outfitter chairs and I like them because they're super easy to put away and relatively small so they don't take up too much space At this moment, he knew he fucked up. video mode by the way Hey guys, I'm back home now. I actually unloaded the truck already and I fell asleep on the couch because I was really tired. So I took a nap. So this is like four hours later, but I came back out to open my tent, open my awning, let things dry out. Luckily, my garage is just tall enough. My tent actually touches the ceiling to open it to dry out. Uh, if your garage isn't tall enough or you don't have a garage, then you just kind of have to play it by ear and you can pop it out when it's dry out or not rainy. That'd be tough in states like Washington, so that's another negative aspect of a rooftop tent. But without a rooftop tent, this last rainy trip would have been truly miserable. Uh, just dirty and wet and everything. And that's another advantage of having a tent up off the ground because it's nice and there's not rivers running through you. There's actually like a little kind of creek 
from the rain like running through the campsite. So I don't have to worry about that being up high. So pros and cons to everything. But I don't really know what I have to talk about. Just drat your gear after rain. Uh, people have asked, this is an ARQ 4WD. I'm not actually sure their full name. They're a South American company that make this low cost, lightweight, 180 degree awning. They also have a 270 degree awning um, and it's cheap, but the distributors are kind of, I'm not really sure how it all works. They sent this to me to test out. So I'm testing it. It's kind of like their second edition, I think. And I like it just because it's light, it's easy to use, it doesn't require legs, uh, which is the main thing that I like about this awning is there's no legs and also it fits on a short cab. So it's only five feet in length, but extends out to be huge. So a lot of pros, like it's the only awning really of its kind that will fit how I'm looking for an awning to work on my Tacoma. There's tons of great awnings out there, but this one kind of fits my needs exactly. So I will be doing a review kind of on the awning coming up. This tent, I've talked about it before, but it's a prototype hard shell that fits over a short bed from iCamper. So I'm gonna do a video coming up comparing this and the other mini, uh, the other iCamper mini, which is the mini X cover. So kind of showing you what's to come from them. Yeah. I don't know, more episodes of Weekenderlander. We're gonna keep on coming forever. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I did a little different thing with a GoPro in the windshield. Tacomas have a GoPro windshield mount. So I use that. I don't think I like it, but let me know the comments down below. Let me know also like what kind of stuff you wanna see in these Weekenderlander videos. I have some flexibility to film some, some stuff with drones or GoPros or just my my camera that I'm using now, which is what I film 99% of the Weekender Lander content on. But I wanna make it fun and entertaining for you guys, so let me know what you'd like to see in that realm. And some trips that you might wanna see though, I don't know, I just kinda of do, do trips pretty randomly. Uh, hence the series, Weekender Lander. Anyway, I always link to stuff down below, so if you have questions about some gear that I used in the video, I'll link to it because I'm always annoyed when I watch a video and I don't know what they're using and they don't talk about it. So I try to link all my stuff down in the video description below. Sometimes when I can do it, they're affiliate links, so uh, if you wanna help support free videos here on YouTube, clicking those links always does help, so I always appreciate that. I think that's it, guys. Until next time, Take care.